Pokemon. Weird little things that can be pocket-sized into balls and smashed to death. Okay, I probably never thought of it like that. Now, now I feel bad. I feel bad for talking about Pokemon like that. They kill Pokemon. Save the Pokemon PETA game. Anyway, if you didn't get that reference, go back a few videos and look at my PETA versions of Pokemon. Um, basically, today I'm going to be sh talking about the Masuda Method. But before I do, I first want to tell you what you could get out of the Masuda Method. A Masuda method is one Meryl in the sixth gen, of course. Um, I'm Masuda method is a lot of things, but Meryl is pretty much what I've been doing right now. But I just finished it and I started Trico. What you do in the Masuda method is you get shinies. Let me explain something to you about shiny Pokemon. Very, very important that you understand what they are. They're freaking useless. Shiny Pokemon don't have any other stat ranges or anything better than normal Pokemon. Oh my god, you wanna see why? Let's say, um, let's see. Oh god, I don't know any of these stats of any of the Pokemon. Breloom has 70 speed, I believe. It shiny doesn't get any speed boost. It shiny doesn't get any attack boost. It stays the same. It doesn't matter if it's shiny or not. The Pokemon you're getting looks different, but is the exact same thing. If you just wanna use a Gyarados, Actually, no, that's a bad example, because Gyarados are so hard to find. It's not like there's a lake where you could just go to to get a free shiny Gyarados. I mean, come on, guys. That's only mythical. But if shiny Pokemon are so useless, why do people still want them? Well, I always like the shiny starters. In my opinion, they look really good. But the reason why people strive for shinies is because normal Pokemon designs just don't look that good. I'm not saying that as an insult. All I'm saying is that a little extra color would look nice. So Pokemon implemented the shiny, which is a different coloring of Pokemon that might have been dropped when it was created. Obviously shinies are supposed to look better than the original Pokemon. Well, in most cases. And some they just look like freaking idiots. Like, what the hell, Chikorita? Do you have anything going for you? You suck as a Pokemon, and you also suck as a shiny. Anyway. Po these Pokemon are meant to be found in a secret. Shh. But Pokemon realized, holy crap, people want these things. If they're secret, then no one's really going to get them. So, basically, the number one way to find a shiny is just to find it in a friend safari. But I'll get to that later. We're talking about the Masuda method right now. The number one way to get a shiny is times five. Hordes don't even count that. Again, I will get to all these things in a little bit. The Masuda method is a way to get a shiny within 1,654 1, eggs, but it's around there. So let me estimate, it's around 1,700 eggs, which seems pretty drastic, but you'll probably get it around egg 300 or so. Now still you're just like, egg 300, oh my god, it's going to take forever. It's really not, because if you have a flame body Pokemon, it's not going to take much time at all. Alright, let's go to the definition of flame body. Actually, no. Let me first explain how to breed. Just in case you have no idea how to breed because you're such a freaking noob. Anyway. When two Pikachus are in love. By the way, I hate Pikachu beyond anything. I'm sorry, guys. It's just too generic. Let me continue. When two Pikachus are in love, they have to have a long-distance relationship for it to work. Now even though, in real life, long distance never works. It never works. Don't write in the comments below, Oh my god, I totally had a girlfriend long distance. Because you're just lying to yourself. Just stop. Anyway, you need to get a Pikachu from another region as you. So if you live in the US, get one from France, Japan, or Spain. Yes, anywhere but where you live. Wow, Pokemon is trying to be easy with this. But it's kind of fair, because shinies are pretty hard to get. This is pretty easy, through global trade. Which is the GTS, if you didn't already understand that. Global trade system? What is wrong with you? Anyway, so, basically, if you didn't understand that, then I suggest you stop watching the videos, because you obviously know nothing about Pokemon trading, which is going to make this process even harder for you. I, I don't even get into it. I'm, I'm done with uh, talking about global trading. 
basically, what you have to do is take, of course, a male and a female of the same species. I recommend the same species. You don't have to do it, but it would speed up the process. If you want some egg moves, then of course, you don't have to do it. But of course, they have to be different genders, like male and female. That's pretty much it. So basically, if I wanted my uh, uh, Trico. I first breeded it with another Trico. And then I took out one of those Tricos, who was from my region, for a Venusaur so it could get leaf seed and synthesis. That will help you in competitive, but if you're not that competitive, just put two of the same species in. Um, even the children of the offspring will count, and that's sad to say. Dittos still work, but Dittos are not your factor. Like, if we get a Japanese Ditto and breed it with an American Pokemon, I'm not sure whether that will be a factor. I don't think it will, because you can't breed Dittos. Anyway, so that's what you could do, number one, to get the shine, uh, get the two together so they can make a shiny Pokemon. Second of all, you need to leave them at the daycare. I'm using the most relevant example, which is the X and Y daycare, which is found on Route 7, I believe. Now, there's a strict path that you could take to just go back and forth till you hatch an egg. What you have to do is drop off your Pokemon in this house. See where my mouse is moving? This house. You'll have to talk to a lady. This lady will ask you, leave Pokemon. Leave the two Pokemon that I've already told you. One from your region and one from a different region. They have to be different genders. Then, take out your bicycle or your roller skates and roll back and forth the entire route a few times. Once the daycare man turns around, which I'll just show an example of. This was the best on the internet. But basically what I'm trying to explain is when the daycare man looks towards you well he's looking away from the house when he's turned around looking at this little water I don't know what to call it he does not have an egg for you once he turns around talk to him he'll turn don't worry this is just how you'll look if you talk to him this side or this side some way and he will say your Pokemon is holding an egg we don't know how it got there because he does not know how things reproduce I'm not sure how this guy got married. Uh, no, I'm not going to make a joke on that. <laughs> it's going to be extremely hard, but you know, I guess he doesn't know how to pleasure. Okay, I'm going to stop. Uh, basically, he'll turn around and say, your Pokemon's holding an egg. We don't know how it got there. Do you want it? Now, if you're going to IVs, don't accept the first egg, but like, just accept the first egg. Because, you should just watch Pokeball's video. He got his shiny in the second egg. And I hate him for it. I hate him. It's taking me over 300 eggs to get a shiny Trico. Screw you, Pokeball. Screw you. Now, I've already said what I had to say. All you really need to do is keep on breeding. Now, the hatch o power, I might be able to show you to get it, but I really don't want to. It doesn't matter. It'll just speed it up a little bit. Now, basically, since you know how to get a shiny by breeding, that's all you have to do. Just keep on breeding, and once you fill up your entire team, which you should only have one Pokemon other than your eggs on your team, drop off all of the Pokemon that you just hatched and get a new set. Don't worry, once you fill up your party, it will totally still be there. You'll keep on giving out eggs. Now, I suggest to you, if you don't use this, then you're just pretty much screwed. Use a flame body. Flame body cuts the time of hatching in half, which is a lot. Basically, what I think you should do is that while he's waiting for the next egg, take the egg that's already in your party and go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And back and forth. I said that like a lot. And once you do that, once you go back and forth like a million times and you get your next egg, once you get to about to your fifth egg, your first egg will be hatched, so you're already one-fifth of the way there. Then your eggs will start to hatch, leave them. Without this, your egg, your first egg, won't even be half hatched. It'll be about half. Flame body is the best way to do this. I recommend you using Talon Flame. I mean, I use Volcarona and sometimes Talon Flame. But the thing is that Volcarona is harder to find than Talon Flame. Talon Flame, all you really need to look for is... All you really need to look for for Talonflame is in the beginning of the game when you look for a Fletchling. 
which kind of looks like this. Just look for that guy and evolve him. That's all you have to do. So that's basically what you have to do to get a shiny. Even though, well, you know guys how I feel right now, don't you? You know, right? Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. What just happened? Go back. Go back. Okay, this is a blooper. Oh my god. What just happened? Holy. Whoa. What? Holy crap. What you guys already know how I feel. I can't get Shiny Your Ninja. For the sake of me, I've tried it. I've gotten up to 1,500 eggs. Still nothing, bro? Still nothing? You do not love me? Why do you hate me so? Why do you hate me? All I wish is for you to sing out to me. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Is it the twinkle in your eyes? I don't remember the rest of the song. Eh. So that's my tip on how to get shiny Pokemon. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I've tried to edit it a little bit, but I'm pretty sure there's still a blooper in there somewhere. And I might add a little blooper scene after this. Because they're a lot. I, mean, I haven't done this in a really, really long time. So, you know, I might add it. Uh, if you guys want it, I'll put another thing up. But basically, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, red click on our request. Like, I'll see you guys next time. And last but not least, happy shiny hunting. And one last thing before I leave. Like I said, I've breeded a lot of Merrells, a lot of Frokies, and a lot of Shrikos. Whoever wants a Trico, just leave a comment down below and I'll and we can work something out. We'll just give it away. It means I have way too many. They're all timid in nature because I carried the Everstone. They have at least three IVs. I made sure of that. I 100% made sure of that. So, um, go ahead. Leave a comment down below telling me if you want one because I do have too many of them. Uh, some of them might be six IVs. So, good luck about that. See you guys next time. Bye.